as you were explaining uh, how advanced our systems were, I was only reminiscing on our history lessons that were taught to us, you know, earlier in primary school. And only if our teachers and if our syllabus taught us our own civilizational history the way you did, I think all of us would be much more aware about how uh, how progressive uh, we were as a civilization long ago. Uh, thank you so much for those insights. Uh, Sahanaji, we, we, you know, there is a parallel, there is a comparison of how the advanced uh, uh, sanitation systems are today and how these can be compared to what we had before. What do you think about uh, the sanitation systems that we have right now? And are flush toilets even a good thing? Yeah, that's a very good question. I think the modern system of sanitation is deeply flawed. We are all used to it, to, but you know, if you look at it closely, it's, it has a lot of flaws. So uh, in the modern system, we have sewage, you know, which is the water which comes from toilets, uh, bathrooms, kitchens, uh, kitchen, everything that, that all, uh, that sewage is it's called domestic uh, wastewater. Now we have a, in the modern system, we have this, uh, all this is collected in pipes, which are known as sewers and taken to centralized treatment plants. And at those uh, plants, the sewage undergoes a variety of treatment. It's, you know, you have pre preliminary treatment, primary treatment, um, uh, secondary treatment, various other advanced treatments if it's needed. And dep depending on what kind of final quality you want, there will be various kinds of treatment. Now, there's a huge cost of digging underground, installing the sewer lines, a uh, lot of energy is uh, used to separate the water from the solids. So first of all, we have a practice of, uh, of flushing our solids by mixing it with clean water. Now, you know, even a little bit of uh, contaminant gets into clean water, it will co contaminate huge, uh, huge amounts of uh, water. So we use uh, clean water to flush away our uh, solids and then we use a lot of energy to separate the water from the solids at the treatment plant. Okay, so uh, and then after doing all that, when it is uh, when the, all that water is removed and then it is clean, then it is sent for disposal to the rivers and seas, or it is disposed on land. That is the model that we have. In some cases, the separated solids they are sent to the uh, for to convert to be converted into fertilizer, but not uh, many cases. Uh, so now, unfortunately, in many places around the world, due to their huge cost, the, the sewers don't exist or the wastewater treatment plants don't exist uh, or they function improperly. And the, the flushed uh, uh, wastewater and the other wastewater from the houses, they go straight into nature. They go into, uh, they go into rivers and seas, they destroy the aquatic life and they spread mm -hmm. disease. So if you have followed my arguments, when uh, clean water is provided to a community, it ironically leads to more uh, pollution because they're using, uh, the used water is not managed properly and is released into, uh, into nature and released into the places where humans will come into contact with it. So this is the problem with the modern system. Uh, India treats only about 30% of its sewage. So you can, you can imagine where 70% of the sewage is going. It is going back into our drinking water, into our uh, groundwater, our wells. The, uh, even in high uh, income countries, they treat only about 70% of their uh, okay. of their sewage. Now, so the Western style uh, uh, toilet, the WC, has proved detrimental to plants and animals. So we, we flush the toilet, we don't care where it goes, and then it goes and causes, uh, the wastewater causes havoc wherever it goes. Unless you have a uh, you know, lot of money and you've built a very excellent treatment plant, uh, plant and other uh, uh, you know, accessories and you ensure that nothing goes back into the community unless it's properly treated. So you always need big financing to, to have sewers and uh, treatment plants. This is one thing. And the other important thing is the aspect of uh, losing nutrients. So you know, uh, when we have our food, we, we get our nutrients from food. And the nutrients come from the soil. It has taken all that from the soil. And then when we eat it, some of it is absorbed by our body, but the excess nutrients that goes into our urine, and then it goes for into, uh, out of our uh, house, it goes into uh, rivers and seas and everything. And we haven't recovered that excess nutrients. And then, uh, so what happens? The, new, the urine contains uh, all these valuables, uh, phosphate, nitrogen, potassium, other nutrients, which actually need to be safely 
uh, recycled back into nature or we need to recover it so that we can reuse it. But what we are doing is that we are just simply letting it go. And uh, so countries are now importing fertilizers. So they, it's very uh, strange that we import fertilizers and then we, the excess fertilizers that we don't use, we are just letting it go away. And then we are mining all over again. So currently okay. India uh, imports about 90% of its requirements for uh, phosphate fertilizers. And the US imports about 85% of its uh, potash, 50% of its nitrogen fertilizers. So I hope you understand what I'm saying here, that humans are going through the elaborate process of mining and processing to get uh, fertilizers. Up, they apply them to crops. We eat the food with the nutrients and then lose most of the nutrients via the wastewater. So lakes and streams, when they receive these excess nutrients, they, get, they suffer from uh, serious ecological damage. And the aquatic life in those uh, places, they also die out because of all these uh, excess nutrients that come there. Then on top of that, the synthetic fertilizer uh, units, they are also energy intensive. They are also polluting. So I, I, this is the problem with the modern uh, uh, wastewater sewerage system. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.